Germany's first defeat during World War II. Battle of Narvik. Narvik is a town located on the shores of Norway, and it was developed as an all-year ice-free port for the Swedish Karuna. Then, decades later during the early years of World War II, the port of Norvik proved to be strategically valuable, and the town became a focal point of the Norwegian campaign. In 1939, Germany's war industry depended upon iron ore mined in Karuna and Malberget in Sweden. During the summer season, this ore could be sent by cargo ship to Germany through the Baltic Sea via the Swedish port of Lulu on the Gulf of Bothnia. However, when the Gulf of Bothnia froze during the winter, more shipments of the ore needed to be transported through Narvik and from there down the west coast of Norway to Germany. The town of Narvik is linked by rail to Sweden, but not to any other towns in Norway. As a result, Narvik serves as a gateway to the ore fields of Sweden that cannot be easily reached from southern Norway via land. And Winston Churchill realized that the control of Narvik meant stopping most German imports of iron ore during the winter of 1940. This would be advantageous to the Allies, and it might help shorten the war. Equally as important later in the war, German submarines and warships based there threatened the Allies' supply line to the Soviet Union. Winston Churchill proposed laying a naval minefield in Norwegian territorial waters around Narvik, referred to as the Leeds, or else occupying the town with Allied troops. The Allies hoped that they might be able to use an occupied Narvik as a base from which to secure the Swedish ore fields and ore to send supplies and reinforcements to Finland, then fighting the Finnish Winter War with the Soviet Union. Plans to lay a minefield around Narvik or to seize the town met with debate within the British government, since both plans would mean a violation of Norway's neutrality and sovereignty. Finally, on April 8, 1940, the British Admiralty launched Operation Wilfred, an attempt to lay anti-shipping minefields around Narvik in Norwegian territorial waters. Coincidentally, Germany launched its invasion of Norway on the next day, and during this invasion, 10 German destroyers, each carrying 200 mountain infantry soldiers, were sent to Narvik. Two outdated Norwegian coastal defense ships attempted to resist the invasion, but both of them were sunk after a short and uneven battle. The Royal Navy quickly dispatched several ships to Narvik, including the battleship HMS Warspite, and during the battles in Narvik, the British took control of the coast, destroying the German destroyers that had brought the invasion force to Narvik, as well as other German ships in the area. Then on April 12, 1940, the first convoys of Allied soldiers were sent under Major General Pierce Joseph Mackesy to Narvik. The Admiralty urged Mackesy to conduct an assault on Narvik from the sea as soon as possible. However, Mackesy believed that the German harbor defenses were too strong for such an invasion to take place, and the Admiralty argued that the naval bombardment of Norway would enable the troops to land safely, but General Mackesy refused to subject Norwegian citizens to such a bombardment and instead he chose to land his troops near Narvik and wait until the snow melted to take over the town. Coordinated by Norwegian General Carl Gustav Fleischner, the Norwegian, French, Polish, and British all recaptured Narvik on May 28, 1940. This is also considered the first Allied infantry victory in World War II. However, by that time, the Allies were losing the Battle of France, and the evacuation from Dunkirk was underway, known as Operation Dynamo. And since the German invasion of France had made the Scandinavian largely irrelevant, and since the valuable troops assigned to Narvik were badly needed elsewhere, the Allies withdrew from Narvik on June 8, 1940, in Operation Alphabet. The same day while operating in the Narvik area, 
Two German battleships sank the British aircraft carrier, HMS Glorious, during the withdrawal from this battle. And without the support from the Allied Naval Task Force, the Norwegians were outnumbered, and they would have to lay down their arms in Norway on June 10, 1940. This was not a complete capitulation though, since the Norwegians kept on fighting guerrilla operations inland. There's actually a pretty good movie on Netflix called Narvik, so go check it out, and remember if it's more interesting, you can find it here.